Got a minute? Here's three quick tips that'll make your next paint job look even better. You know what separates the pros from the amateurs? Attention to detail. And that includes the details around the edges. Before you paint your next room, inspect all the window sills, frames, molding, trim, chair rails, basically anything that touches the wall. If you see any gaps or cracks between the wall and the wood, you want to fill those now, not later. Because once that wall is painted, the last thing you want to be doing is caulking a window sill and hoping it's still flush with your brand new paint job. A lot of people load up their caulk gun start at the far edge of the surface they're sealing and drag the gun back to them. Stop. When you do that, you're actually less likely to get a consistent bead the whole way across. Instead, start your bead at the near end and push the gun away from you toward the far point. If you keep pressure on the trigger consistent, you'll get a nice smooth bead the whole way across with no gaps and no slumping. Got your edges all set? Great. Now what about those nail holes? If the wall damage is large enough, you want to patch it up before you paint. But if it's just a nail or a screw hole, most people try to fill those with a dab of caulk and then sand it down so it's flush with the wall. Instead, use a dab of spackling paste or wood filler, like our dab crack shot or plastic wood. Why? Because sealants usually dry to a rubbery texture, which means they may not sand smoothly. And if you try, you might end up with an uglier mess than when you started with. If you have any other questions, and we know you do, visit dap.com for more info.